Thank you, sir. Go again, man. Sorry, I'm sorry. You weren't um, Go taping right from it? the start. Yes, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. It, it was a good rehearsal. That was a great rehearsal. How, how, how was that? Was that okay? That was excellent. Yeah, I mean, it was efficient, right? Very good teacher. Okay. Um, I'm on. Let me just wait till this girl passes okay. by. Oh, okay, she's parking. Okay, cool. Okay, guys, Vince Spadia for the perfect forehand. Stop listening to those coaches that are telling you to turn your shoulders and get your legs over here and your hips. I'm gonna teach you the perfect forehand. It's a revolutionary technique that'll make you hit flat when you want it, heavy spin when you want it. You'll be able to hit anywhere, anytime with high, high penetration and high percentage. It's the perfect combination. Federer does it, Djokovic does it, Serena does it, Sampras did it on his serve. You want ultimate efficiency. So we're gonna pretend we have a clock here that lies flat right around our chest. There's a clock, we're right in the middle of the clock. This is 12 o'clock, of course. This would be one, this would be two, this would be three, this would be four, this is five. I want you to get to five o'clock as soon as possible. So we're at 12 o'clock, you're at five o'clock. Make sure you turn that shoulder, the left shoulder for balance and for guidance, but don't allow it to distract where your racket head is. It's gotta stay at five o'clock the whole time, whether you're moving forward, whether you're moving sideways, whether you're moving backward. As you notice, the racket doesn't go anywhere. You need that stability in your shot when you're ready to execute the follow through. So racket back, turn the left shoulder, don't pull it back when you turn like this. It'll make you late, it'll make a lot of things potentially inconsistent. So you want it right here, this is enough. This looks like Agassi, this looks like all the best forehands, but people don't understand how to teach it and how to actually execute it. This is where we need to be at all times. High forehands, low forehands, any type of forehand, even the return of serve, you get back quick. If all the coaches that you listen to have the unit turn, how is that gonna help you on a return of serve when Roddick's serving 140 miles an hour? You tell me how I'm gonna return 140 miles an hour doing this. The ball's gonna blow right through the fence. And even if I do get to it, I'm gonna have to pull up and be late, hitting late on the ball. How is Roddick gonna hit through me when I'm going like this? Right to five o'clock, I'm ready to go and pull through into the shot. Second step, the most important part of the forehand, after you've set up perfectly. By the way, isolate your upper body. Don't worry about what your legs are doing. My legs, I don't even have tennis shoes on and I'm hitting the perfect forehand. Check this out. Make sure without moving your legs, a lot of people go, okay, let me turn Vince, and they turn their whole body. Don't force the turn to be predicated on your, your footwork as well. Let your footwork be an enhancement. It's an ancillary measure for power and for positioning. My, my legs are gonna get me in position, then I can use the drive. But here's the second step, the through part of the forehand. This is the most vital. Everyone's been taught to hit low to high like this, to come through and finish. Catch, maybe sometimes they tell you to catch the racket. This is all wrong. This needs to be penetrated through. The racket head goes through in a straight line. And what that does, it causes all those great elements that your coach talks about. Keeping your head on, your chin, your eyes are still, your left side stays intact. But it's all predicated because the focus is on the racket head going through in a straight line. This is the most vital part. Everyone pulls out of their shot because people are teaching them to finish this way. Mm. They, tell, they tell them to keep their head on the ball. That doesn't guarantee me any extension. What you get when you start following through perfectly on this forehand, you extend the arm. Here I am in a street shirt extending my arm and then at the last minute, you flip the wrist over. But look at how extended my arm is when you flip the wrist over. This is where you get the actual spin. If you notice, you see Sampras serve. He follows through and then he pronates at the last minute. He doesn't pronate while his racket, while his, while his arm is bent, does he? No, he comes out, he extends through, and then he does his flip. This is where the percentage, the accuracy, and the consistency come from. Same thing with the forehand. You have to drive the engine through, then you use the steering wheel to go and turn where you want it to go and control the shot. Does that make sense? That's and then at the end, you can finish and bend. Right. But once you've penetrated fully, turn the wrist over for that manipulation. You see Federer a lot. That's why you see Federer a lot of times. You see him in slow motion. He's not even using his legs most of the time. He's, him and Adele are straight with their legs 
but the racket is extended perfectly and everyone talks about how he keeps his head on the on the ball but that is not the priority he doesn't even think about that he gets his racket head through and subsequently my head has to stay on the ball he flips over and if you notice he finishes right by his shoulder he doesn't finish behind up high like the coaches say he doesn't flip over and smother the ball either which is not what we're saying so the perfect point is the 12 o'clock to the 5 o'clock with a little bit of turn here and guidance you don't want to do this you obviously need some guidance here on the left side and some balance notice my legs aren't even in the shot yet bracket back then I can adjust my footwork where's the ball because I have to facilitate the perfect position of power to strike through that ball I'm Vince Spady for the forehand. We're gonna have more videos on breaking down and isolating each one of these entities, but that was a little bit of the elevator speech on how you're gonna have the best forehand, unparalleled.